Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like and subscribe. So one of my favorite American paintings is Sleepwalker by Eric Fischel. Now this painting was painted in 1979 and is a six by nine foot canvas. So it's fairly large. The picture shows an adolescent boy standing naked in a plastic kiddie pool on a suburban lawn at night. The boy is lit from above, the moon perhaps, or a street lamp, and he seems oblivious to his surroundings. I have never seen this painting in person, but I want to see it because it's one of my favorites. Now, he may be dreaming the scene, or he may have wandered there in his sleep. We don't know. But however uncertain his path to that spot, the boy's purpose there is unmistakable, poised at an angle to the view so the action is partly obscured. He's masturbating into the pool. Now Eric deliberately chose this subject because it was taboo. In America a lot of things are taboo. Also Eric didn't fully trust his painting skills and he felt he had to use the shock value to make the picture live. And he was also trying to explore the emotions behind what's taboo. I remember when I was in art school I painted a lot of shocking images because like Eric I didn't trust my painting skills and I feel like I needed to shock the viewer because I feel good art should make you feel something. And I think skills may be irrelevant if the content is great but then again if it's shocking that doesn't mean that the content is great either so there's like a fine line there he was sincerely trying to express what it felt like to be a boy at a time of a momentous change the posture of the boy's body is bent to its task and turned away from the viewer this contributes to a sense of mystery drama and isolation that marks an adolescent's introduction to puberty eric didn't know what the boy was doing when he started painting him in fact he never starts the painting with a vision of what it would ultimately look like or a definite idea now I on the opposite hand I always have a clear idea of what I want to paint sometimes it comes out sometimes it takes its own life and becomes something different every painting for him is a journey and the way he begins it is never the same it starts with fragments with gestures or something that intrigues him with sleepwalker he began with the image of the boy in a kiddie pool he was trying to portray the transitional state in which a boy becomes a sexual being but he didn't know what he was doing in the pool was he pissing or just standing there the painting was originally set in daytime the idea of masturbation hadn't occurred to him yet all he knew was that the boy had outgrown his toy pool that the juxtaposition of the two images the boy and the pool with their conflicting skills was awkward then he had his aha moment when he changed the setting tonight that's when he realized what the boy was doing when he made the association between darkness and privacy freedom and mystery taboo and sexual exploration that's also when he painted the lawn chairs the symbols of parental or adult authority that attend the boy's rite of passage. The chairs also impart the painting's main theme. Without them, it's just a picture of a boy masturbating. And yes, that's shocking, but it's just one dimensional. With the chairs, it becomes personal and effective. It pulls the viewer into the picture space. The viewer bears witness to anoint or condemn or to identify with the boy's action. Now in my case, I identify with it because when I was an adolescent, of course I masturbated each time I could, but then every time there was like this sense of guilt because I grew up in the church and they tell you that masturbation is a sin, which is so stupid now that I'm older and I think about it. I think self-exploration is part of growing up and it's actually the safest type of sexual experiences you could have because you know, STIs and all that are so abundant. So if you want to be safe, just play with it. Eric Fischel intended Sleepwalker to shock and he would assume it would get a reaction, but he wasn't prepared for the way it made him feel. When he stepped back from the painting and saw what they were really about, he realized he had actually been painting sins from his own disorderly Past. And I think when you paint something or when you're painting anything, you leave traces of yourself in it and you might not even realize it until later until you observe the work and you know think about what you've done and what you've created. So this is, like I said, one of my favorite American paintings. The information about that painting I got from this autobiography titled bad boy now it was written i guess he has a ghost writer because there's another name underneath here michael stone but it's so interesting i'm still not finished with it yet but it's by far one of the best autobiographies or biographies that i've ever read it's really good so i do recommend it and this painting is also on a video i did of my top 10 american paintings make sure to check that out i will link it right here and tell me what your favorite Eric Fischel painting is. Are you familiar with the artist? Are you familiar with his work? What do you think about this painting? Is it as shocking to you as it was back then? I mean, that was in 1979. I think that notion is not that shocking anymore, but it's still a very nice painting. So anyway, leave it all on the comments below. And until next time, adios y bye.